ready to have a great day. Let's do this. Dude, did you hear that Brittany got out of jail? What? Yeah, it was a rumor that she set the superintendent's car on fire. Holy crap. I think it's somebody's behind us. What did you say about me? N nothing, nothing. We need to find out if the rumors are true. What if Brittany finds out? That's a risk we have to be willing to take in order to figure out the truth. Okay, let's do it. We can start by questioning students, see if they know anything. Alright. Where were you the day the superintendent's car was lit on fire? I was at home. Playing Minecraft. Do you have anyone that can back you up on that statement? My ma. Where were you when the superintendent's car was lit on fire? Can you, can you please just answer the question? Actually, I did see something near the superintendent's car. I don't think we can get anything out of this guy. He's not answering our questions. Let's just move on. Okay. Let's move on to the next student. Hey, before we start this next interrogation, Kyle, can you go find some more students? Question: We're running out of students. All right, I'll be back with more students, but don't start the interrogation without me. All right. Now that he's gone, can you please answer all my questions honestly? Where were you when Superintendent's car was lit on fire? And did you see anyone suspicious near his car? No, but I know that there was a camera pointed outside where the superintendent's car was parked. Okay, thank you. Free to go. Thank you. Okay. The superintendent's car is parked between the two trucks, and that would mean that that camera there is the one I need the footage from. Okay, camera footage, camera footage, camera footage. Here we go. What? Kyle set the superintendent's car on fire? Not Brittany. He let everyone believe it was her. I've got to tell someone. Oh, so you figured it out. Too bad no one will believe you when I tell them it was you! Hey! Get back here! Stop him! Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. You let go of me! I'm turning you into Mr. Bowman, Kyle. Your time of freedom is over. Thank you, Todd. Without your hard work, everyone would have kept accusing Brittany. The school is very grateful for you. What about Kyle? He will be dealt with accordingly. Sorry, Brittany. You're innocent, and we apologize for believing the rumors. Can you forgive us? Of course. I'm just glad the rumors are put behind us. Lucky, Brittany. If Todd hadn't gotten the camera footage, everyone would have still blamed you for this. I'll be back, and you'll all be sorry that you messed with me. Sorry, I say! <laughs> Get back here! Hey, stop it! Your days are over, Kyle. I'm gonna take you to the superintendent. Yeah, I know. I know this. I know. Thank you, Todd. Without your hard work, everyone would have kept accusing Brittany. The school is very grateful for you. What about Kyle? He will be dealt with accordingly. Okay. Of course. I'm just. <laughs> Why is she gone? Huh? Three, two, one. Where were we? Blah. Why? Sorry, we can, we can edit it. I can't speak today. We can edit it. Okay. Well, that was an exciting day. <laughs> can we redo that? Well, that was an exciting day.